Welcome back to Panga Shed, where today I'm doing a drivetrain upgrade. Not on a car, but on a mountain bike. First things first, this channel is called Panga Shed. And yeah, I know it's a push bike, but I am doing it in my shed. And uh, I like all things uh, with wheels, whether it be car, motorbike, push bike, even welding trolleys. So I'll get that out of the way with first. Secondly, this is probably my first ever real proper trail bike. It's not high end, so to speak. Um, it's one of Trek's entry level um, trail bikes in the Marlin range, it's a Marlin 5. It only cost 750 Australian dollars, which I thought had a couple, couple of good features that I wanted in a bike, uh, compared to a department store bike, so that I could build on top of it. Hence why this video, I'm upgrading the drivetrain from um, 2x8 to 1x11. When looking for a trail bike, there was a, a, a couple of specifications I was looking for, um, and that was 100 mil forks. Even though these uh, Suntour ones aren't the greatest, I'll use them until they die. Um, hydraulic disc brakes, I wanted the frame to be of a good quality but brand with lifetime warranty. I wanted internally routed cables, um, and I wanted it to look nice. So. As a package, oh, with 29 inch rims as well, um, as a package, this for the price um, was very decent and it was a good base for me to um, buy some upgrade upgrades for and customise it, make it my own. And that's what this video was about. Uh, I'm going to go with the theme of orange and charcoal grey. I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like, but um, I decided the orange... Uh, just maybe for something different. Uh, I see a lot of uh, blues and greens, and I thought I'll, I'll try something different. It might look okay, it might not, but I can't do anything about it now. So here are the parts I've bought for my 1x11 drivetrain, plus some orange dress-up bits. I've chosen the SLX CS M7000 sprocket, 11 speeds. This particular one is 11 to 46 tooth. Shimano Dior XT uh, shifter. It's had some good reviews. The rear derailleur is a RDM 7000. Shimano SLX. For the front chain wheel, I've decided to go something a little bit different. This is actually a sort of cheap budget uh, three ring crank set. The beauty about this one is I can actually remove the crank arms and all the rings and replace it with um, the 32 tooth narrow wide chain ring from Raceface. The 11 speed chain by Shimano. And I've gone with the Deity Orange, Death Trap pedals on the left, the um, orange grips on the right, and some orange rotor bolts for a little bit of pop on the rotors. One thing with this conversion is this middle um, gear changer no longer going to be part of this bike so that should save some weight. Piss that off. The Marlin has a square taper bottom bracket so uh, it just made economical sense to use something like this 
as you can see by um, the, the bolt holes there, I can remove all three of those rings, throw them away and replace it with the chain wheel. This way I don't have to change the bottom bracket of the bike so it keeps costs down. There we go. Um, as I said, I'm not going to be remo removing this um, uh, bearing thing from the bottom bracket. Here's a pile of all my obsolete parts. Let's uh, start putting some new stuff on.